Sarcopenia most often occurs due to the natural process of aging. Progressive muscle mass and strength loss begin between the ages of 30 and 50 and peaks after 60 years. Sarcopenia goes beyond the muscles themselves and has widespread effects throughout the body, including bones, blood vessels, nerves, liver, heart, and pancreas. Bones maintain their density by receiving stress, stimulation, from muscles, so when muscles lose strength, bones also become weak. In severe cases, it can lead to osteoporosis. Muscle loss prevents the creation of new blood vessels and nerves, leading to cognitive decline. Additionally, it increases fat in the liver, promotes heart hypertrophy, and interferes with insulin secretion from the pancreas. Early signs of sarcopenia include feeling physically weaker over time and having more difficulty than usual lifting familiar objects. Common symptoms include falls, muscle weakness, slow walking speed, and difficulty doing everyday tasks, loss of stamina, difficulty performing daily activities. Various mechanisms can cause the onset of sarcopenia with aging, such as, 1. Insulin resistance. Aging often causes changes in body composition, leading to increased accumulation of body fat and decreased muscle mass. Such changes can lead to insulin resistance and other metabolic dysfunctions. 2. Decrease in hormone levels. Aging can lead to a reduction in levels of anabolic hormones such as insulin, human growth hormone, and testosterone. These hormones play important roles in the development and maintenance of muscle tissues, and so the hormones decline can cause sarcopenia. 3. Inflammatory markers. An increase in inflammatory markers such as interleukin, IL-6, tumor necrosis factor alpha, C-reactive protein, and IL-1 that occurs with aging can lead to sarcopenia due to their effect on skeletal muscles. 4. Neurodegeneration. Aging causes a decrease in peripheral nerve fibers, motor neurons in the spinal cord, and the number of neuromuscular junctions. Such changes in the neurological system can cause sarcopenia. Risk factors. Being physically inactive and not consuming enough protein are two main contributing factors to why an older adult might have sarcopenia. Obesity may be another contributing factor. It's possible for younger people to develop sarcopenia too. Younger people with inflammatory diseases, malnutrition, and cachexia, extreme weight loss and muscle wasting, may be more likely to experience sarcopenia. Other conditions associated with the development of sarcopenia include, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, COPD, chronic kidney disease heart failure human immunodeficiency virus, HIV, diabetes mellitus cancer. Testing for sarcopenia. 1. Muscle mass measurement. Dual energy X-ray absorptiometry, DEXA, or bioelectrical impedance analysis, BIA, can assess muscle mass. 2. Strength testing. Dynamometers or other strength testing devices can measure muscle strength. 3. Functional performance tests. Assessing an individual's ability to perform daily activities can provide insights into muscle function. Treatment and prevention. 1. The quickest way for the elderly to regain muscle mass is weight training. It benefits both men and women. Both groups typically lose muscle mass because levels of testosterone or estrogen go down as you age. 2. Protein intake. Ensuring an adequate intake of protein, especially for older adults, is crucial for muscle health. 3. Balanced nutrition. A well-balanced diet that includes sufficient vitamins and minerals is important for overall health. 4. Hormone replacement therapy. In some cases, hormone replacement therapy may be considered under medical supervision. 5. Regular physical activity. Staying physically active with a combination of aerobic and resistance exercises. 6. Healthy lifestyle. Avoiding smoking, limiting alcohol intake, and maintaining a healthy weight. Thank you for watching. Press the like button and subscribe for more health content.